It was in Paris, in one of those retro noirish cafes. The sort of place that's always dark, even in daylight. It's a place where you'd expect to find Hemingway or Fitzgerald, or maybe Gertrude Stein and Alice B huddled together at the next table. When you walk down the steps into Shea Tootsie, it was like stepping into a time warp. Bonjour. Bonjour. Avez-vous une allumette? What? A light. Oh. C'est bon. Are you, uh, Tootsie? No, no. I am Claudette. I'm Freddy. American. That's right. After that, I spent a lot of time at Shea Tootsie. I felt I fit right in with the bohemian clientele. But it was Claudette I wanted to see. I asked her out. No. Finally, I told her. I've fallen in love with you. I know, Freddy. Will you come away with me? I cannot, Freddy. Why not? We are of a different time. What do you mean? Je ne sais pas. I have to go back to the States. Why? Business. Will you come back? You bet I will. When? Just in a couple of weeks. Do not be gone long. No, of course not. Will you write to me? I will. Write to me in care of Che Tutsi. <gasps> so. A few weeks in the States turned into months. At first I wrote almost every day, then every week, then less as time went by. Claudette never wrote back. For some reason, I didn't expect she would. Then one day my letter was returned, and then another came back, and another, no such address. I caught the night flight to Paris. I couldn't find the cafe. I couldn't find the street. People told me there never was a Shea Tootsie. On my last night in Paris, I went to see a movie. It was an old black and white film from the 30s. I was tired. I was dozing off when I heard... Avez-vous une allumette? What? I opened my eyes. A light. It was her. Oh. There she was, on the screen. And there was the cafe. And there was an American. And they fell in love. No, no. It was then I realized that I had been playing his part.